Hi, y'all. Another awesome crafty hangout today. And this crafty hangout is brought to you by Tulip. And they make these awesome body art paints. This one is shimmer. This one is blacklight, which is awesome. Go to craftyhangouts.com and you can see um, some gals who've used the fun blacklight paint. I'm actually going to use a little bit of the shimmer today. And I'm going to use their really fun glitter tattoo. Uh, and what I've done is I've created some custom stencils. And you'll be able to grab these on 30minutecrafts.com. And I've created some custom stencils that you can cut out with your silhouette machine. And these are little crowns um, for your little princesses. So Elsa is the third most popular costume this year. And if your little one was Elsa last year, then she'd like to be Elsa again this year. And maybe she lost her crown, or maybe you want to do something a little different. This is a fun way to give her a crown. This one is a fleur-de-lis which is also cool for um, Mardi Gras. I did one on my arm already, so you can kind of see. This is a butterfly crown. And we're going ahead, and we're going to do the Elsa crown today. So what I did is I cut this, I cut the vinyl on my silhouette machine, and then once the vinyl was cut, I put some, I weeded out the crown portion of it, and then I put some transfer paper over, and then all I have to do is peel off the transfer paper and I have a clean face no makeup on today and I'll stick it right to my forehead so hopefully you won't be doing this on yourself hopefully you'll be doing this on your child but I'm gonna rub it on pretty well here and then I'm gonna use my mirror so that I know I can see a little better what I'm doing and the first little bit is trickier. Let me set my mirror up so I can see me. Just hold down that edge. And this is why it's important to have a clean, dry face because if there's any oils on your skin, it's going to make it harder for this to stick. And just carefully, carefully peel, peel. And if you see that I'm peel, I'm actually touching this portion to the backing that's still on there. And that's the easiest way to really get them transferred to stay on your head. So there's my tattoo shape. The glitter body art actually has some tattoos that come with it for the colors that I have. It has a little slash and some little vampire bite that you could put on your skin but I uh, I'm making my own Elsa crown so then what comes in the kit is this great um, adhesive so we're gonna go ahead and just apply this adhesive to my forehead you don't have to use a ton and it's gonna go clear which is good it'll still be sticky when it's clear you don't have to worry about going so fast that oh no it's going clear it's drying um you want it to dry because that'll allow the glue that means the glue has set a little bit so we're gonna I'm getting glue on my hair these tattoos are awesome if you use them on you know a not based part of your body they'll actually last up to five days um, I use these with my sons and some of my little nieces, and they loved it. They lasted a really long time. They lasted through bath time. Um, and when you're ready to remove them, you just use some rubbing alcohol, and they come right off. So I'm just applying the adhesive. Kind of keep track of where you've been because otherwise you'll end up going over the same spots as it goes clear. Make sure you get in between any of the little nooks and crannies. By the way, I designed these crowns that are a little over four inches wide. I designed them to go on a child's head, but 
if you've got a smaller child, you can always just size them down in your Silhouette software. Super simple to do. Okay, so I need to let that dry. You can see it's still a little white. Just blowing. You can use it if it's still white. It'll just, um, some of that adhesive will get on your glitter brush and that will make that a little more difficult. Now this part's going to be a little tricky. I'm going to tilt my head down because I don't want any, if I have my head up, any glitter is going to fall into my eyes and that will not be great. I also have a washcloth and some baby wipes here in case I need to wipe any out. So you definitely don't want to get this glitter in the eyes. If you are doing this on a child, just use the washcloth to completely cover their eyes and that way they don't have to worry about getting any in their eyes. I can't do that since I'm doing it on myself. But here's the glitter. It comes in a little thing like this. There's a little protective plastic that's in there. When you take off the lid, just pull out the protective plastic. And then you've got your... Okay, I'm going to put the washcloth over my keyboard so I don't get glitter everywhere. Because otherwise I really will. And I'm going to very carefully start brushing on the glitter. You can see it sticks right to all that adhesive. And if there's any spots where the glitter isn't sticking because you somehow missed putting adhesive in that spot, not a problem. We can go back in a second and put some extra adhesive there. So you can see there's a big spot that I missed. So before I go too much further, I'll go ahead and put some adhesive there so it can set a little bit. We'll say that I did that on purpose, right? Okay. By the way, I used this green vinyl because that's what I had on my machine already. You can use any color vinyl. The vinyl's coming right off, so it really doesn't matter what color vinyl you use for to make your transfer your stencil. So you can see that glitter is really, really dense. There's a lot of glitter on there, which is perfect. This tattoo will really stand out, just like the butterfly that you saw on my arm, the butterfly crown for a butterfly princess. And then this over here is set, so I'll just fill that in. Then I'm just going to use the brush to brush away any loose glitter. You could use a big fat makeup brush for this as well. Okay. So my nice shiny silvery forehead. Then all I have to do is take the stencil off. And look how clean and perfect those lines are. When I did this on my arm, it did not feel good at all <laughs> because I have little, little hairs on my arms and those were coming up with the stencil. I have some tweezers to help me with the center parts so I can just grab those with my tweezers. And look at how intricate I can get these details. Pull off my snowflakes. Here. Obviously, if you're doing this on someone else's forehead, you can see what you're doing a little better. It will grab my big snowflake here. Maybe. When I was doing this on my arm, 
I actually used a craft knife to get right underneath the stencil, but I would not recommend doing that, especially on someone's head. A little bit of extra adhesive there. So you can see I'm getting lots of detail in these snowflakes. And again, this will last for five days. So if you have a Halloween party the day before Halloween, or since Halloween's on a Friday this year, you have a Halloween party the following day as well. Um, it'll last. If you're doing a whole day celebration of Halloween, well, it's like wrinkling my forehead so I'm getting under here. Um, if you have a whole day celebration of Halloween, this will last all day. You don't have to put any sealer over it. Um, you don't have to worry about bringing touch-up makeup with you. Um, this will... It'll stay put all day. Almost done. Oh, it looks like one of my hot... When I transferred, I didn't even notice. One of my little snowflakes got left on my transfer tape. So that's why you don't see a snowflake right there. But So there's my Elsa crown. Now I promised we were also going to play a little bit with, I'm going to put this glitter away. We're going to play a little bit with the shimmer paint. Because you can leave your Elsa crown like this and it's beautiful and fancy and shiny and shimmery. And it doesn't hurt and it's not going to go anywhere. It won't rub off. See? Some glitter might go, might, no, actually. Didn't even get any glitter on my hand. It's really staying put. But if you want to add some color, because Elsa froze in lots of blue, I'm opening up my shimmer paint. Also from Tulip. And I have a little cup of water here. This has a nice lid on it to keep it protected after you take it out of the package. So this comes with some paintbrushes, but I wanted a really fine paintbrush. I'm using a paintbrush for um, eyeliner. I'm just going to dip it in water and then dip it in my blue to start getting some blue paint. And then I can start filling in areas. I can paint my snowflakes blue. Um, I can add some detail here around the crown. Just for fun, you can trace around the crown. Um, you can add as much or as little detail as you want. Maybe I'll go in. To my snowflake a little bit. To the extra water. And start painting in these details. Again, you can do it on your own head. I don't know. Maybe it's easier to do it on your own head than a wiggly child. As long as you don't poke yourself in the eye. You can fill in these open areas with some extra paint. So, as you can see, Frozen Crown for Princess Elsa will go great with any Princess Elsa costume that you have going. Um, or I also have the butterflies, which you could also paint in, um, or a fun fleur-de-lis. There's three different options for fun crowns. I hope you have an awesome Halloween. I hope you really try out these tulip um, glitter tattoos and awesome body paints. You can find them all over, really all over. Uh, just search online and they'll show you all the different places that you can get these or go to Tulip, um, Tulip site and check these out. I'll have links for you on my site as well as links to get these stencils if you'd like to do the Elsa crown. And I hope you all have a wonderful, safe, and happy Halloween. Thanks for stopping by.